Hi, this is Ivan at Fit at 50. It's really early in the morning. I'm getting up and starting my day. Getting to have devotion. Get my day in order. And um, I was thinking about secrets. Somebody um, saw one of my videos or pictures and they said, Hey, what is your secret? And I thought, I was thinking this morning, I said, Well, I'm going to share one of my secrets with you. And it's really the foundation at Fit at 50. And it's, it's the mentality. Um, a mentality that at a certain age... I don't have to feel or, or look old. I'm 52, and um, for a lot of us at 52, uh, there's this notion that my best days are past or I'm supposed to look a certain way, <clears throat> and I've never approached my age in numbers that way. I was not a professional athlete, you know, but in my mind, I said, I'm not a professional athlete, but I'm a good athlete, you know, and I said, well, um, as a good athlete, I should look a certain way. I should uh, take care of my body in a certain way. And that didn't stop for me when I hit 40, uh, when I hit 45. Granted, I still like to play basketball, throw the football around the young kids or whatever. Um, but inside, there's a picture. There's a picture, and that picture shapes how I eat. It shapes how I work out. I'm, I'm not obsessed. Some people might say, well, maybe you're obsessed over your body. I'm not really. Uh, I'm an actor. Uh, and in my mind, uh, an actor should look a certain way if he wants to get cast, especially like um, if you want to get, have a wide range, you know, that I could play my age and I could also play younger. And part of playing younger in Hollywood, you know, you just got to have a certain kind of look. Uh, so that picture informs, it guides, it shapes my decisions. And um, I was thinking about um, uh, world class weightlifters. You know, Mr. Universe, those kind of guys, um, they don't look like the, the competition pose all the time. You know, they go through, you know, a period where they're in serious training, you know, and, and competition. Other times they don't they don't look the same. I'm not saying they don't they look, you know, uh, they look small or fat. I'm just saying that they don't have this chiseled look all the time. And, and, and nor do I. It's just in my mind, I have a picture. And when I start getting outside that picture, other things kick in. I start pushing back, <laughs> pushing back the pound cake, pushing back the ice cream, uh, pushing back, um, shrinking my my, my uh, serving sizes till I get back into tolerance. I get down there um, and, and, and do the sit-ups. I do the push-ups. I go to the gym now. I hadn't been going to the gym for the past year and a half. Um, well, not maybe that long, maybe like six months, working out at home, doing push-ups, crunches, so on and so forth. So what's your picture? You know, uh, you don't have to be, uh, like I said, you don't have to be a fitness model, uh, but maybe you, maybe there's a waist size that you want to be. You know, if you're at a, over 40 waist size, maybe you want to get back to under 40, maybe like a 38 waist or something like that. You know, um, if, if you don't have, uh, um, if you're not overweight, you just want to be more trim, kind of like beach body kind of thing. You know, what is that picture and why do you want it? You know, I've given you a little hint into mine. Uh, one, it's because I see myself as an actor. I just got cast for a part where the guy plays, supposed to be like in his early 30s. And I believe that part of the reason I got cast for that because I have a fit look. I have this younger look and it's part of the vision or the dream for my life. Um, like I said, I looked in the mirror a couple of days ago and the pound cake had taken its toll. And some other things, you know, had taken its toll. And I just start putting in the time to, to get back in tolerance. By, let's see if I can... So this, this is kind of what I want to look like. <laughs> you know, granny, I'm sucking it in. I'm, I'm doing my little pose. But that's kind of what I want to look like, you know. And, I, and I'm still not, my arms are not where I want to be. My chest is not where I want it to be. I want to be bigger. I want to be more trim. And it's not easy. It's, it's work. I got up yesterday and I did 30 crunches, me 30 sit-ups. It took me 30 sit-ups, 30 diamond push-ups. I don't think it took me more than 10 minutes to do. I was tired. My back was hurting. I've been doing a lot of standing at work. Um, so it wasn't easy, but it was 10 minutes. That 10 minutes, and I went swimming yesterday um, for cardio, swam maybe about 10, 15 minutes. And, and the swimming wasn't even, some of it was, you know, um, like speed for, for time, as fast as I could swim. Some of it was just backstroke, relaxing. But I was moving. I was burning calories. You know, so, but again, the, the main thing about Fit at 50 is the mentality. It's a mentality that I don't have to be old. I don't have to get to a point where I can't do that anymore. I can't do that anymore. Not at 50, you know, um, and the mentality that, you know, what I want, this vision of my body and my mind informs how I eat, you know. And so when I look in the mirror, 
and I see that droopy looking chest or I start seeing the, the gut. You go, you don't have a gut. Two days ago, I had a gut. <laughs> you go, how did you lose it that fast? Man, did a lot of stuff. You know, 16,000, you know, keeping a little thing on my phone says I walked 16,000 steps on Friday over and 16,700 steps uh, before I turned the phone off. I actually worked more than that. So it's probably well over 17,000 steps because it's just some volunteer work I was doing at church and stuff like that. I say, say volunteer. I serve in the parking lot and do a lot of walking. Uh, was it tiring? Yes. You know, um, but I'm not ready to give up on the vision of athlete that I have in my mind. I don't know how somebody who was a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete, how do they ever let go of that picture in their mind? I'm having a hard enough time letting go of the picture of the athlete that I, you know, was, was some years ago in my mind. And that's my choice. That may not be your choice. Maybe your choice is just to have a, a vision of your body on the inside that's not um, plagued with heart disease or diabetes you know, whatever it is, you got to get that picture so that you're kind of like in a, I won't say a constant tra- training regimen, but it's its a, like I have a tolerance. Now, I said, share that in a previous video. Joyce Meyer said she has a tolerance. When she gets over a certain weight, her inner, you know, diet kicks in and she, she gets back down. So she stays in a range. For me, it's like a picture. And when I don't look like that picture, I say, oh, man, we got some work to do. And I kick it in for a while and I just kind of keep a constant input of exercise and, and diet stuff going on in my life that I stay within that range. So I hope that helps somebody at Fit at 50, whether you're trying to be a fitness model, uh, an actor, you know, um, that can take his shirt off, you know, um, or just somebody who isn't quite happy in their own skin and they want to do a little bit here and there to kind of, you know, look a little bit better. Or if you just want to be more healthy on the inside. So when you go to the doctor, the numbers that come out, uh, your blood sugar, your your hot, your blood pressure, your all the all the numbers they spit at you. Those numbers look good. Whatever your vision is, I encourage you to think about that vision and make a decision that's going to keep you in that happy place. This is Ivan at Fifty Fifty. Have a great day.